Welcome to High Dogs with Mushtaba Ahmed and Himan Shugupta. Once more, once again, we are here. With banger news, with stuff that's happening in the, on, in the gaming space on a regular basis, which is quite messed up, or some can be really good, or some can be just entertaining. In this case, it's quite messed up. And it's funny. And, and sad, actually, because the Indian government has added a 28% tax on online gaming, online money gaming, casinos, and horse racing. 28%? That's... Bro, what? Yeah, so what that means is India is actually expecting 45,000 crores worth of, in- <laughs> worth of income from this. <laughs> so literally what they're doing is, is that they're bringing down the gaming space, they're bringing okay. down the betting space mm-hmm. just to earn a few more bucks. Few more? <laughs> yeah, That's a lot of 45,000. But 28% is too much. Indeed. If a person is registering for a game of 100 rupees, it's made 28 rupees for Smith. Like, yeah. And this excludes a TDS that would be added. At the if end. you win. If you win. I think, uh, didn't someone text, didn't someone tweet about this? Uh, yeah. So it was Ashley Grover actually. So he said, rest in peace to the real money gaming India. <laughs> rest in peace to the real money gaming India. Just in case. <laughs> rest in peace to the real money gaming India is super fun, super ironic. <laughs> Rest in peace to the real money gaming. Go for it, go for it. Just, just say it. RIP, okay. real money gaming industry in India. If the government is thinking people will put in 100 rupees to play on a 72 rupee pot entry, which is 28% mm-hmm. as GDP, as a GST, and if they win, 55 rupees would be after the platform fees. Okay. Right, so another deduction. And then they would pay 30% TDS on that. So, 100 rupees reduction by G- GST, yeah. reduction by platform fee, yeah. and then reduction by TDS. Oh my god, how much are they getting in the end? Uh, 30% of 54. Good luck. Good luck. You're such a big guy. You're playing. You're playing. You're playing. So, 16.2 reduces from that. Right. Right. So, they're getting like 38, 37.8 rupees. For a game which they took part in with 100 rupees. Yeah. So why are they even playing? Exactly. And this is for online gaming. Is it? It's not for online gaming specifically, right? It's for online money gaming, mm. casinos, and horse racing. Bro, catch on that. Yeah. Upon ke free scripts best. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the funny part. So other countries do this. Yeah. As in other countries have online gaming, horse racing, betting, and India is putting it over their own games, mm. but. Other countries are still doing it. So why would anyone do it in India? And that's what we've seen. So gaming companies have started moving into crypto. A loophole. <laughs> loophole, essentially. Mad scenes. And uh, 700 crores have already moved out of India. <laughs> so where is that 700 crores going? That's more than 1%. News I have in my life. Loophole again. So that money goes into countries like the US. And it goes into places where essentially the deductions on there, people can actually earn. And in doing so, you know, just reduces the activity within the country, within the borders. Seems like we have to get into crypto as well, dude. Mm-hmm. Sooner or later. Yeah. Are you are ready for this. <laughs> are you are ready for this. Some give us crypto wallet hai nahi. Nahi, banao. Banao zuri hai. I think, I think they have to. And I think, uh, so, uh, Shneel Grover actually said this, it's time for startup founders to enter politics and be represented. But this is going to speed industry after industry. Definitely, yeah. People who are making the policies, they're like, what? They're, I'm guessing they will be like at least 40, 45 plus. Yeah, indeed. So, Volo, how can they see the gaming space and make the right decisions? Mm-hmm. Because it's now, it's it has ramped up over the last five years. Mm-hmm. Majority of the people who were gamers, I'm guessing the max age they'll have is like 30, 32. So, five years, 30-32. I'm 100% sure policies are not made by those guys. Mm. If they were, they would be more lenient, they would be more understanding of what the space is, what it's doing for India, and how it can transform India. 
US and all pretty much figured out way earlier. So, Indeed, yeah. killing it. So money won't stay in the country. Money will go abroad. Some people are from Dubai. What do you say, Shahrukh Khan? Maya Dubai? Something. We'll put up the ad right now. <laughs> It's quite uh, brutal news. It's been out for a while. We've been seeing the impacts already. Do you think it's going to change? No, not no. at all. Not at all. Again, unless people who understand esports are the ones writing up these policies. Yeah. Nothing's going to change. So better. <laughs> better than just go with the flow. All right. Anything else you want to add over there, Push? That's all, Abhi. So the short podcast. Indeed. All right. Thank you so much for joining in. Make sure to like, like, subscribe, and share. What do you guys think about this policy? What do you guys think is the is going to happen uh, because of this? What do you think we should do about it? Suggest us because we are completely playing on you guys. Let us know. Keep us posted, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Huh?